guys welcome back so today i'm gonna be doing a top five favorite foundations video this video was by far the most requ not even like requested at this point it was like the most demanded video i have ever had here on my channel so i thought you know what i'm just gonna stop ignoring the comments <laughs> i'm gonna finally just sit my ass down and do it this hat is from ebay on my lips is milani matte amore liquid lip in adorable and my jumper or sweater if you guys are from the us is from h&m so i'm going to be starting off with foundations that are more light coverage now just so you guys know i have more of a normal to combination skin type my nose does get quite oily and i do struggle with smile lines and forehead lines because I'm Italian and you know it works. I'm gonna start with light coverage foundations, work my way up. The first foundation that I have is the MAC Face and Body. Now this is by MAC Pro. So you can get face and body in like pretty much every MAC counter, but they only have the 50 mil version, which is smaller. This is the 120 mil version. This has a definite light to medium coverage. It's something great for every day. If you guys just want something really natural for work or for, you know, twirling and whirling or I don't fucking know. This is water-based and it has no SPF in it, which means that it's great for flash photography. So you can use it on your body, on your legs, on your arms, on your where the fuck. The thing that I find really cool with this one here is that the more you work it into the skin, you can actually feel the coverage like builds up on itself. So as you can see, my hand's like sliding all the way around, but you'll see in a second, it'll just get really thick. See, there we go. And so that's the foundation actually building up on itself, which means that you don't need more products to get fuller coverage or like better coverage with it. Okay, my next one is Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. This is my go-to for every day. Like when I want to look a bit more polished or presentable, that is when I will grab this bitch. I'm in the shade Beige 3 and in the face and body, I'm in N3. It's really comparable to the MAC Mineralized Moisture Foundation. And this has a light to medium coverage. I would say it's more buildable than the face and body is because the face and body is very, very runny. I personally like to use a beauty blender with this or a really dense buffing brush just because if you were to use a flat brush you're just gonna get streaks because it's such a liquidy formula i usually only use flat brushes when i'm using a really full coverage foundation like to kind of cake it on and then use a beauty blender anyway or with cream foundation so even with the mac face and body i would still use a really dense buffing brush like the morphe m5 you know M439 brush. Okay, so moving up in the coverage a little bit, we have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Also, can I just point out really quickly, what works for me may not work for you. What works for you may not work for me. You guys just asked what my top five foundations were and these are mine. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out. So this is part of the Fit Me range, the Matte and Poreless. I'm in the shade 220. For those who don't know, I'm usually like an NC25 in MAC foundations, just so you get like a reference. Now this says it's for normal to oily skin, however, I still get oily with this foundation. Like I get oily with all foundations. No foundation is going to stop oil production on your face. And it's actually really, really important to have those oils like on your face. This formula, you guys, is seriously so smoothing. Like it is so weird how Maybelline formulated this and kept it at such an affordable price because I'll use my beauty blender to apply the foundation. And then when I go to set my face, I will use my RCMA no color powder, just like always. I'll use the powder and go over my pores because I have really, really bad pores like all here, like along my cheeks. Literally, they just vanish like out of nowhere. Next is more of a medium to full coverage foundation. This is probably the most full coverage foundation out of all of them that I'm going to be showing you today. But um, I wanted to keep a specific foundation for number one because it's my number one foundation. Anyway, so this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. This has S... Oh, does this have SPF? No, no SPF in the Maybelline one. This has SPF 10 in it. Now this does flash back. I don't use this as often for that reason. So what I'll do is whenever I wear this to an event, I'll usually wear it in the center of my face and then have like a different foundation on the perimeter of my face. Just because when the flash goes off, it's going to look like you have a really like well lit in a part of your face. <laughs> Can we all just take a second for my highlight today? I'm in the shade 2C3 Fresco. Stay in place makeup, literally, because I need to double cleanse with my Clarisonic to get this shit off. So if you guys are looking for a really, really long wearing foundation, like if you guys have really, really long work days and you want something that's gonna go on, stay on, control oil, this is amazing. This has a definite matte finish as well. Okay, now onto my number one Holy Grail Bay fuck everything else foundation. <laughs> like if I could only use one foundation for the rest of my life, it would be this. This is MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. I'm in the shade NC25. I usually range between NC25 and NC35. Depends if I'm tan or if I'm fake tan or, you know, stuff like that. This is by far like the only foundation that does not settle into my fine lines and like forehead lines and 
wrinkles and shit like that. This foundation is described as like a light to medium coverage, but it's definitely medium buildable. So I build it up to a full coverage, obviously, because I'm a full coverage kind of bitch. If you guys do struggle with smile lines and all of that shit, this literally is the only foundation that does not crease on me. I obviously use the Beauty Blender trick with the powder. So I'll get my damp Beauty Blender, dip it into some translucent powder, and then just set over my smile lines and keep on pressing that powder in until it's all gone. And that really, really does help quite a lot, especially with foundations like face and body that are really, really runny. The finish of this is described as demi matte, but it's definitely more natural to matte than it is dewy, if that makes sense. So if you imagine matte, natural, and dewy, it's definitely more in between natural and matte than it is between natural and dewy. If that makes sense, Herbert does. Yes, thank you so much. Alrighty guys, so that is my top five favorite foundations. It is so weird just only filming for 12 minutes at a time, <laughs> but these videos are so quick to fill because you can only talk so much about a fucking foundation. If you guys have tried any of these foundations and you love them, please let me know. If you hate them, please let me know. Let me know why, what you love and what you hate. If you guys do like this video and if you have any other top five favorite videos, then leave those requests down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You guys can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, you now. I'm converting to you now. I feel like I have such a bigger following on you now. I feel like a lot more people are on you now because it's a lot easier to get a hold of, I feel like in my head. So yeah, if you guys haven't already, then follow me on you now because I will be live streaming on there very, very shortly. I'll have a list of the products in the description of where you can get them, where you can find them and stuff like that. If you guys want to see a tutorial on this look here, then just let me know down in the comments. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.